What up, bros, nose peeps, and creeps? This is Bodala coming to you live from the Overdome. Um, I'm here to do a first impressions review of, of course, as you probably would have guessed, Bioshock Infinite. Uh, what I think is supposed to be the prequel to the Bioshock series. Now, um, I'm going to be putting a gameplay up later. Um, I played the game for like two hours. Obviously the video is not going to be that long. It's going to take a lot of editing. Um, so yeah. This is me in response to how much editing I have to do for my fans, for you guys. Um, but just so you know, the sitch on Bioshock Infinite. Um, my first impressions of the game are pretty good. Um, it's a lot different, even the controls. It's not Y to jump, it's A to jump. Uh, Y is now melee. Um, yeah, instead of having a wrench, like you usually do. Uh, well, a wrench was in the first one, then you had a drill in the second one. Now you have, uh, literally a cross between the two. It's like a drilling wrench. Um... It's this weird grappling thing that kind of spins, um, and you just hold it on your wrist, and you can latch on to things with it, and they incorporate that a hell of a lot in the game, and it's really, it's really immersive in the graphics. I, I'm not gonna lie, it seems kind of a lot like, ooh, look what I can do, um, with its graphics engine and with its storyline. Kind of like forces you to watch all of it, um, but I mean I I enjoy it, but I know people who don't. Um, the idea is you are Adam Dewitt. Wow, I remembered it as the name, Adam Dewitt. Uh, not to be confused with Adam Demamp from Workaholics. Um, and you are sent to save some girl who has supernatural powers who's been put on display. And I'm almost positive she has something to do with the birth of gene tonics. Um, yeah. Uh, if this is a prequel. If not, then, I don't know. The idea is she can open up a bunch of worlds. You only get, in the gameplay that I'm going to do, you only get, like, a preview of that. She, like, looks at a painting and she just splits it open. Um, which is kind of cool. Uh... The weapons are completely different, I gotta say. Uh, the upgrade system is a lot different. They have a lot more upgrades possible. You can even upgrade your plasmids, um, like actually upgrade them instead of just like getting, oh, plasmid 1, plasmid 2, plasmid 3. Uh, now it's kind of like, oh, increase area of effect, increase damage, things like that. Um, and that's pretty cool. Uh, so far, the storyline is pretty fresh. Um, it's not a ripoff at all. Uh, it's completely different. Uh, I was I always thought that the next Bioshock is going to be about a splicer, um, which in a way, I mean, you kind of have the same gear as a splicer, but it's it's completely different. And the plasmids are even different. The one that's replaced a uh, insect swarm is now like a swarm of uh, evil crows that eat your flesh. And that's pretty badass. Um, so, so far, uh, it's going pretty solid. Um, is it as addicting as the first two? Um, I don't know. Quite frankly, I'm really tired, and I'm not entirely sure. I mainly just zoomed through it so you guys could get a general idea of what it was like. Um, so, yeah. Uh, look forward to the gameplay. I should be releasing it later today. Uh, and, yeah. So far, it's a thumbs up. Uh, if you respect my opinion on video games, I say go and get it. Um, but then again, that's not entirely fair because this is a new one. So it's not $20 or less. Um, so yeah. I mean, if you don't want to, just wait till the price drops. Quite honestly, I don't think... Um, I think they got some bugs to work out, but it's pretty good the way it is right now. Um, so if you can't wait, I'd say go out and get it. It's worth the buy. Um, 
if you're extremely impatient about it. If you're patient, uh, like I probably should have been, uh, then you just wait till the price drops. I mean, that's what I do with like every game. I even did that with Halo 4, which is unnatural for me because every Halo I got out on its release date except Halo 4. So, I guess I'm just maturing. Anyway, so that's my two cents on Bioshock Infinite. Um, pretty damn cool so far. I'll keep you tuned in. This is Bodala signing out.